Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Look at our conditions outside this morning. We are pretty quiet locally, but we are under a flash flood watch for later today through tomorrow morning. That watch means there's a potential for flash flooding. Here's what I'm anticipating for rainfall amounts, and this is today through Friday morning. Most of us seeing one to two inches of rain near the coastline, though the amounts will be a little bit higher, maybe as high as three inches of rain in places like uh, out on Nantucket and perhaps the outer Cape could see as much as three to five inches of rain. It's a combination of a cold front and the remnants of Michael. We're going to take a look at the full conditions for you out over Narragansett Beach right now. It's dry and the visibility is good and you're finding no issues into Providence either. It's 69 degrees winds out of the south southeast. We'll see a south southwest wind today. It'll be a breezy day with gusts over 30 miles per hour at times, especially in any downpours or thunderstorms. Those uh, heavier rain showers will help to pull down some of the higher winds that are up uh, a little bit above us. As we look at our Doppler radar this morning, all dry. In fact, if you're traveling up through Boston, out to the Cape, Connecticut, uh, mostly trouble free this morning. You can see some showers two hour north and two hour west. Those will gradually work their way eastward. So our rain chances going up as the day goes on. Now, Michael, the remnants of that storm all the way down here, still in the southeastern United States, just getting ready to uh, move into South Carolina. This is the 5 a.m. update from the National Hurricane Center with 50 mile per hour sustained winds cruising at 21 miles per hour to the north and east. It'll be back over water this evening. Here's the latest track from uh, the National Hurricane Center here this morning, bringing it as a tropical storm into North Carolina and then as a uh, depression or subtropical uh, storm as it makes its closest pass to us Friday afternoon. This guy is racing away and will uh, will be history. High pressure to the east will continue to work its way eastward today. Here's our approaching cold front. This is what's going to give us the showers during the daytime today. That front will slide to the east and it draws up. Well, it's a combination of Michael and that high pressure off to our west that will help to draw up that tropical moisture and you can feel that high humidity today. Well, all that Moisture in the atmosphere helps to fuel these storms, and so we'll see some pretty good downpours through the afternoon and evening hours. It may be a slow evening commute. I don't expect any issues for the morning commute. Notice at midnight tonight, still seeing some heavier rain right along the coastline. Here's Michael down here, and that storm will continue to make its closest pass to us. This is 6 a.m. on Friday morning. That's the outer edges of rain from what's left of Michael clipping our area. Notice north and west of Boston and Providence. Very little rain from Michael. We will see a period of gusty winds as they turn to the north northwest as that storm departs outside right now. What a mild morning uh, right near 70 degrees in most locations and we do make it up into the middle 70s this afternoon. It's humid through the evening hours and staying mild in the low 70s at 6 o'clock still and then the temperature is gradually cooling overnight as we drop down to around 60 degrees from there. Not much change tomorrow. Rain in the morning hours then clearing out in the afternoon lower 60s for high temperatures on Friday. Saturday is even cooler than that mid to upper 50 chilly and dry start in the morning. We'll see clouds building the setup on Saturday. Big pool of cold air in the upper levels of the atmosphere that pinwheels through. That causes instability, so we'll see some increasing clouds. There's not a lot of moisture to work with with this system, so just a quick sprinkle or a brief shower in the afternoon, five o'clock in the evening, and back under clearing skies, cool and dry conditions. It's a chilly but sun-filled day on Sunday, upper 50s. Another front coming through Monday will bring some showers. They may linger into early Tuesday morning, but the middle of the week looking dry. Your full forecast.